Hi friends, it's Lori here from Lemon Yoga and welcome back to another video with me. Today I am taking you through a 15 minute full body stretch routine and these are some of my favourite full body stretches right now. So give this video a quick thumbs up, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family and then come and meet me on your mat. Beginning in a wide leg child's pose, melting the belly to the ground and extending those arms away in front of you. Tuning into the breath and letting everything feel heavy. Breathing down to the base of the belly and all the way out again. Clearing the mind. Relaxing through the whole body now. And then on your next in-breath, come on up, find all fours for cat-cow to release the spine. On the inhale, we dip the belly as we lift the chest. And on the exhale, we round the spine and look to the knees. Inhale, rolling forwards. Exhale, peel back. Inhale forwards. Exhale to peel back. Inhale forwards. And exhale to peel back. Inhale forwards. And exhale, peel back. Now find your neutral, tuck your toes and lift hips high, finding downward facing dog. You can pedal out the feet here, just finding a little bit of warmth in the back of the legs. Let the back of the body gently stretch and open, lifting the tailbone high to the sky. Your left foot will step through as the right knee drops to the mat and the eyes look forwards. Try relaxing through your tailbone and if the floor feels far away, lift yourself up on a block. You're gently stretching and opening into the back hip flexor. Breathing in. And then as you breathe out, shift those hips backwards, straighten through the back of the left leg and fold yourself forwards. You're just trying to melt the torso as far to the ground as you can. Keep lifting the toes of that left leg high to the sky to increase the stretch in the back of the leg. Keep breathing into the stretch and then roll to release. Step all the way back now, three-legged dog, the left leg lifting high to the sky. We'll then bring the side of that left leg back through, land down, the hips land down, and we're finding our pigeon pose. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, take a fold, come on down. And get comfortable here, just softening into the front of the hips. Letting go through the glutes, softening all the way through your spine. Even try letting go through your face and clenching the jaw. So the whole body is relaxing. And stay with those deep belly breaths so you can really get the most out of the pose. Slowly, let's begin to rise and open to the long end of the mat so the left leg stays where it is and you're just turning that right leg so the knee faces the ceiling. Left arm sweeping up and over for a side bend, that right hand reaching for the right toes. Big stretch in the side of the body, big stretch through the inner thigh. 
Breathe deeply and try and soften the body into the pose. No tension. Exhale, release. The leg that's long, your right leg now crosses over the left for a twist. Hook the left elbow to the knee, right hand behind. And try looking all the way over your right shoulder as you take a deep twist. Breathing in and out. Keep finding length through the spine here. So you're sitting as tall as you can and twisting as far as you can. Unravel yourself now. We'll take pyramid pose. The right leg will end up at the front, the left leg behind. The spine is long and again you could have the hands on blocks here. And in your own time allow the top of the head now to relax towards the mat. So now you're softening all the way through the spine, all the way into the pose. Just stay with it a little bit longer. And then we'll open to Trikonasana, so opening to the long end of the mat, the right hand down, the left arm reaching high. Try finding length through both sides of the body here, lengthening all the way through to the crown of the head. Engage through your core by drawing your navel to spine. And don't forget to breathe. Come on down, bend into that right leg, low lunge, and from there we'll step back and find downward facing dog. And we'll start to repeat all of that on the other side. So you could just take a moment here to pedal and breathe. And then the right foot will step through as the left knee drops to the ground. Heart space lifting forwards. We're in our low lunge, stretching into the hips. Hands could be raised onto a block if the floor is too far away. Keep relaxing through the tailbone, finding length through your spine. Take a really big breath in and then as you breathe out, roll the hips back, lift the toes high on that right leg and gently fold the torso forwards as far as you feel comfortable going. Just let yourself melt, finding that nice deep stretch in the back of the right leg. Stay with the breath. Begin to roll forwards to release. And then step back, right leg high, three-legged dog. Find length in the back of the body before bringing the side of the right leg back through for your pigeon pose, melting the hips equally to the ground here. And then exhaling as you take a gentle fold towards the mat, making sure your weight isn't sinking to one side. Let the whole body soften, soften into the glutes, soften into the front of the hips. Let them fall heavy to the mat. And try softening into your back and your jaw. And just focus on big belly breaths in. And out. Keep breathing, really stay connected to the body. And 
and then begin to rise to release, turning to the long end of the mat, turn so the left knee is now facing the ceiling, and then reach your right arm up and over for a side stretch. The left hand can reach for the left toes if that feels right for you. Keep breathing deeply. Let's release into our twist, the left leg on top of the right, hug or hook that right elbow round, left arm behind, sit tall and look all the way over your left shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. And on every exhale, you can twist just that bit more. All right, unravel yourself to pyramid pose, the left leg in the front, the right leg behind, the spine is long and lengthened, fingertips to the ground or to a block. Breathe that space through the back of the left leg. And then soften through the crown of the head, let the upper body fall heavy as you sink further into the pose. You can even shake out through the head here to make sure you're really relaxed in the stretch. And then we'll open to Trikonasana. Lengthen to the long end of the mat. Left arm down, right arm reaching high. Finding length through both sides of the body, all the way through to the top of the head. Drawing that navel to spine to keep that core engagement. And breathing through your whole body. Exhale, release, low lunge. Press it back. Downward facing dog. From here, we'll melt the knees to the ground and we'll sink on down to Balasana, our child's pose, where we began our practice today. Just taking a moment for the body to soften here, to relax and let go. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me for this 15 minute daily stretch for flexibility. I really hope you enjoyed these stretches. If you did, let me know in the comments and do let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel. I love your suggestions. If you haven't already hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family, I would absolutely love to have you here. You can take as long as you need in your child's pose. And only when you're ready, you can make your way out of it. Rising on up, maybe reaching arms high, sealing the practice with hands together and exhaling to your heart space. And I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care. Bye, guys.